Hey buddy, it's me Steve. I haven't been posting to YouTube lately because of this. The Arcos Institute of Geosciences. What is this? This is a web page where you can take courses in geology, geosciences. I am the primary instructor. This thing was just launched a few days ago. It's January 4th, 2023 as I make this. So the site is not complete yet, but I do have courses up. This video is just to tell you basically how it's structured a little bit, because I haven't even really decided, hence the red here, but I've decided to kind of break it out like you would see in college with numbers in the beginning. So zero to 99, this will be your basic stuff for older children or people in high school, stuff like that, who might be, you know, interested in geology or even grown adults who just want some background information and stuff like that. This is your more undergraduate collegiate type courses, but so are these, but these are more to prepare you for either field camp or the professional geologist tests. Now, just a quick disclaimer on the professional geologist tests to get your PG license, as it's called in most states. In Indiana here, it's an LPG, licensed professional geologist, same thing. Those lectures will not give you any test answers. Now there are quizzes at the end of all of these and you have to pass them with a certain percentage to move on. You have to get a 70% or better on those and your choices are A, B, C, and D and there is no partial credit. So that's how those tests are structured. It's no secret that it's structured that way. That's common knowledge. But I will not be giving you any answers on those tests. So don't ask. So there's another section of field geology. This is where I walk you through some places where I've been. Greenland is the only one up right now. I think I have one Wisconsin one up as well. These are usually pulled from my YouTube page. There's a couple that you might see are missing. I did pull some of those from my YouTube ones that I thought were a little bit more technical. Some were really well watched, some weren't. It's just that I feel that in order to help you understand stuff a little better that a test would be better to be put at the end of those. It's only a handful. So if some of you go to the website, you might see those there. Just be aware of that. They're, I think they're all actually pulled from my YouTube channel right now. I think there's three of them right now. I think one, oh no, I know for sure one is not on my YouTube. That's the Greenland one with the carbonite in it. That one no one has ever seen before. I just put that together the other day. There is another category I plan on doing here but I've not really decided on what to do with it yet. It might just be stuff like PowerPoints or stuff like that, how-tos, maybe stuff without tests. Now, these have tests as well. Uh, I believe right now you all, you have to get at least a 60% on these to advance or get your course certificate. I was thinking about making some non-graded, non and I still may do that. Oh, there is one that's non-graded. It's a basic assessment test. It's also the cheapest one you'll see on here. There's 50 geology questions on it. It's basically just for you to take to assess your basic geologic knowledge. The questions were taken from a bunch, a pool of questions, either I created or some of my friends created that are also geoscientists. So it's nothing that like you're going to see anywhere else or anything like that. That one is not great. That's just for you to assess yourself. If you get 100%, good for you. If you get 0%, just know that you might need some refreshers. It's not to be taken personally. But all the others are graded as of right now. So there's nine videos total. I would like to, within a month or two, have at least 20 videos available. At least one for each category as of right now, except this one. Still don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I just thought I'd give you that update. As a result, my YouTube videos are going to decrease dramatically. The only thing I don't like about this is you can't put like a two hour video up there. They have a maximum upload of two gigabytes. So some of my longer videos I've had to divide out into modules and I just split them somewhere, usually in a good break, but I'm not perfect. So you have to you know, go to each module and maybe 
The first module doesn't have a test, but the second one will and it'll include both. Third one won't, fourth one will and it'll include three and four in the test, that kind of stuff. It's just the way it's set up. I can't do anything about that, which kind of sucks because I wanted to put my Greenland video when it's done up there, my kind of loosely geologic video on our trip to Greenland. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that there and I don't wanna break it out into like 20 episodes. I just don't have the patience for that. Although I'm, I don't know, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I created the school for people to learn. There is an area where you can comment and you can email me and other instructors as well and even interact with other classmates. Be respectful. I cannot create a conducive learning environment if you're going to berate and belittle people. Be respectful to others always. And if you have a legitimate criticism of something I say or do, construct it well and I'll respond to it. You may not like the response, but I will give you the same respect you give others. That is your warning right there. This is not a social media platform. I want people to learn the actual accepted science. If you're going to shit post, go to Twitter, go to Facebook, go to some social media platform and do that. I don't care what your political beliefs are. I don't care what conspiracies you believe in. I don't care. They aren't relevant. Stay focused to the lecture and the topic and make it a nice, safe learning environment and experience for everyone. That's the ultimate goal. When you go on the website, you have to enroll. You'll see the bottom of the page, it'll say enroll. There's a couple of free courses. Those are the intro courses. You don't have to pay anything, you just have to enroll. Before you can take anything or do anything, you have to enroll. That's just the way it is as well. So you have to sign up. It's not really that difficult, I don't think. So you have to enroll. And then if the video is free with no test, you just watch the module. Some videos I do require you to watch at least 90% of run the runtime because some of those, if you don't, you're not really experienced and you don't pay attention, you're going to fail the tests, especially if you have no experience with what I'm talking about. So fast forwarding the video and all that isn't going to matter. I don't really clue you into the videos. Everything in the test will be applicable from that video or the videos it covers. I'm not going to just throw random left field questions in there on you, so, but you have to pay attention because I may sit there and say something three or four times, and if I do, it's important, so pay attention. But there might be stuff on there that's important that I just go through once for brevity purposes or whatever. So be aware of that as well. Comments will be open. The email will be open, but remember I do work full time as of right now, so I will get back to you when I can. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and I would hopefully like to see some students in there. I wasn't expecting anyone to register in the first few weeks, first two or three weeks, be just because it's mostly me setting it up. But if you are interested too, and if you have a YouTube channel and you are watching this, I would like to advertise on your channel, possibly. It depends, number one, on what your uh, topics are. But those of you that know me, I might be interested in advertising on your channel. I can pay you something. I'm not filthy rich, so I can't pay you with some of the bigger advertisers will, like Skillshare or something like that. I, I just don't have the money for that, but I will give you something. And we can talk about that via email or whatever. So anyway, check the link below. That's where the course is, or the school is, and all the courses are listed. And feel free to ask any questions.